Sikhism explained in a quick short story. In total, there were 10 Sikh gurus spreading their faith from the 15th century through to the 16th century. Throughout these years, the Sikhs grew bigger in number. They taught people that women were equal to men, opened schools and new centers for the Sikhs to strengthen their base. They forbade the Hindu practice of widows, sacrificing themselves by sitting on their late husband's funeral pyre. As the Sikh race soon became a strong force throughout the years, they fought in battle many times with the Mughal Empire. Banda Singh Bahadur set up the Sikh Empire and fought the Mughal people alongside Muslims and Hindus, killing 10,000 Mughals and also killed Wazir Khan, who, also a Mughal, who had constant conflicts with the Sikhs and had killed the 10th Guru's two young sons. Sikhs fought for the rights of the people. They removed corrupt officials and replaced them with honest new ones and giving farmers ownership of their land. This concerned Bahadur Shah from the Mughal Empire. Battles continued until Banda Singh and his men were caught. Banda Singh was put into an iron case whilst his men were chained. They were pressured to change their faith and become Muslims. All declined resulting in their execution. There were 780 Sikh prisoners and 2,000 Sikh heads hanging on spears. The Mughal Empire wanted to exterminate the whole of the Sikhs as they came into conflict with their Mughal laws and were affecting their political successions. In 1735, it was decided that the Sikhs would take over the whole of the Punjab. Upon hearing this, Zakaria Khan Bahadur from the Mughal Empire sent squads to kill all Sikhs. He offered one year's wages to anyone who delivered the head of a Sikh to the police station. Due to this, Sikhs were located and sawn into pieces, burnt alive, heads crushed with hammers and young children pierced with spears. In 1739, Nader Shah of the Turkic Afsharid dynasty looted the treasury of India, killing more than 100,000 people in Delhi. He took with him women and craftsmen. When Kapoor Singh heard of this, he promised he would protect the women of Muslims and Hindus, so the Sikhs attacked the rear of the caravans freeing the women and craftsmen and recovered part of the treasure. In 1762, Ahmad Shah Abdali, the Durrani emperor, brought a full army to finish off the Sikhs for good. Ahmad caught the Sikhs unaware and killed about 30,000 men, women, and children. Their heads were transported to Lahore. The Sikhs call this the Great Massacre of 1762. Ahmad feared the Sikhs would retaliate and offered some areas to be ruled by them. His offer was declined, saying they do not recognize his authority, so he went to the Golden Temple and filled it with gunpowder, hoping to eradicate all Sikhs. Ahmad died ten years later of cancer. The Sikhs rebuilt their centers and continued with bringing riches to the poor. The Mughal Empire soon declined. To this day, the scriptures written by all ten gurus are read in the Sikh temples, to help all ages understand the righteous path. Although turbans had been worn in India and other countries prior to Sikhism, the first guru continued wearing his, and so the other nine gurus followed suit. Under this turban, you will find uncut hair and a small wooden comb representing two of the five Ks.